everyone. Hey. Uh, <laughs> we would like to uh, welcome you on our stream. Uh, it has been five years uh, when Daisy was released on the on the Steam. Is it true? Yeah. Uh, yeah. It, it was is. 16th uh, December 2013, I think. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it was like this. Uh, and uh, today we want to talk with you about the game. Uh, we going to answer some questions, and uh, we're gonna play Daisy because we have. Uh, we are running an event uh, with our influencers and uh, loyal people from the community. So, uh, people is playing ra uh, right now on the site of Defender uh, of Attackers, and uh, even will start in 30 minutes. So, we are going to talk right now. I think, yeah, yeah, yeah 25 sure. 25 minutes, yeah. So. Uh, I want to talk about last week because Daisy was released. Uh, we have uh, right now 1.0 version, and I want to ask you, Eugene, how do you feel? The game is out, so. Well, it's been a very long journey. I think everybody can agree with that, and it probably won't stop here. And I think that's the most important part. Um, there are still issues to solve and and problems to tackle and things to get in the game. And yeah, I'm, I'm just happy we got to this point that there is some form of closure for Daisy, at least in terms of 1.0. And uh, I'm just happy it's out, people are playing, that the free weekend has been a success. Um, the numbers that we are seeing are really just like amazing. Uh, I'm just happy that people are playing Daisy again. Definitely. So, and how was your week? <laughs> <laughs> Peter, <laughs> tell me. It was, it was uh, a hard uh, crunch time so yeah, I, I'm, I'm really glad that we uh, finally uh, pull out and, and, and put the game uh, to 1.0 and uh, it, it was uh, some kind of uh, relief after that long time. So what did you work on the last week? What was the Well it was uh, some balancing here and there uh, it was mainly uh, some some stuff with uh, damage system. Uh, at the uh, last moments, we find out there are some bugs in the in the damage system, and we were trying to fix it. We were trying to configure the character uh, damage system as best as possible, uh, so there wouldn't be any any issues uh, on release. So hopefully, to some degree, it it works out. But as you said, there is still uh, a lot of stuff to make better, to fix, to balance out, and that's what we will be focusing on. So after. if you, if you are looking forward to the next year, uh, what do you look back on? What was like the like the most amazing memory out of development of Daisy? And feel free to come back as, as far as four years, three years, just like there have been some amazing things that we've <laughs> experienced in the office. What do you remember the most? Like what is, what is like your best memory? Well, there is so plenty of them, it's really hard to pick some. So maybe like during the stream, I will come with something. But uh, sure. like now I'm getting really focused <laughs> and observing the base. Oh yeah, the guys, <laughs> if you don't know, Peter is going to be playing. <laughs> and we can't wait yes. for Peter to actually yes. uh, snipe out some guys from the base during the event. Yeah, we'll, <laughs> we'll see if that happens. But Apparently, it doesn't have a scope, so it's going to be very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I will run full front in Rambo style. <laughs> so we will see. Does that work in Daisy? Ah, it depends. <laughs> depends. Depends on your gear, on your skill and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, and I forget uh, forgot to uh, tell you we're gonna uh, make some giveaways. We have some Daisy uh, keys, we have hoodies and we have t-shirts. So not now but later you can win something. <laughs> Uh, okay, um, what was the best thing, Eugene, you, uh, for you in a DAISY development? Best thing for me? Yes. Um, so for my position specifically, um, responsible for some part of planning, uh, but it, it's a lot of just people management. So I'm just happy that whenever you have any hard development cycle, um, and there has been a lot of people working on DAISY over the years, uh, we didn't have a lot of attrition, which I'm very happy about. Um, 
people stuck their guns uh, in development and we pulled through. And I, I think just like the culmination of coming with 1.0, uh, setting the target, making sure that we get there, um, and people just, like whenever you're um, surrounded by people that are passionate about the game and, and want to make the best game possible, and we definitely want DayZ uh, to succeed, and it, it has been a dream game for all of us. Um, so definitely like just getting from what, whatever uh, the game was previously on RV, looking back at the DayZ mod, then uh, looking at the game <coughs> that was 0 0.62, and then getting a new engine and making sure that we make the game and and it's like so uh, get back in there. Um, and I think we succeeded and I'm happy about that mostly. Cool. So, um, um, oh sorry. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll be fine. <laughs> it has been a long development cycle, so guys, be patient with us. Uh, we've worked most of the last few weeks nonstop. Uh, so if we seem tired, there is a reason for it. Um, but on Monday, we're coming back to work, and there are things to fix. So that's just going to continue. And hopefully, we'll enjoy some of the holidays. And then next year, uh, we'll see uh, and share more information with you again. OK, um, so how many hours do you have on Daisy? Do you remember? I think like 800 now, maybe coming to 1,000, something like that. Um, it's definitely more than that, because that's only that what Steam tracked. So something that we played internally, uh, I don't think uh, it's actually uh, counted in there. So it might be something coming to like 1,500. So I'm definitely not the um, player with the most hours in DayZ. Uh, but it was a whole different experience, because when I came to development, originally four years and eight months, nine months, something like that. I haven't played Daisy mode before. I did play Operation Flashpoint that are games from Bohemia. Um, but I was so enthralled by the by the idea of it, uh, of, of just having a simulator where where you are able to just like live out this post-apocalyptic experience with other players. And I have this story that I told a couple times, I think on, on some presentations and such. Um, and it was probably one of the first experiences wha I had with DayZ. Um, so I started, so guys, you probably don't know, when, when I started in DayZ, I was, I was a build engineer. So I was basically responsible for continuous integration, which is basically how the game is made at the end and published. And uh, before I became a producer on DayZ, uh, one of the first tasks that I got when I was, uh, when I joined the team, and it was the first day I, I came to, uh, I think it was Brian, and he told me like, just play the game. So I. OK, I'm going to play the game, learn something about it. And I played. And I just remember I, I, was, I was in this town. I can't remember which one it was. It was one of the um, older maps. But um, there was this girl that I met in a city. And we just agreed to loot it out to find some weapons so we can defend ourselves. And I found some crossbow bolts uh, originally in 0 0.60. It was like 50-something. 50, 50 I can't remember exactly. And, and she had a crossbow, so I gave her the crossbow bolt so she could defend us. And as soon as I turned around, she gave me a headshot. <laughs> so that was my first experience <laughs> with DayZ of the revenge and nice. just like the insane um, mentality that you, can, <laughs> that you can meet in game. And it's definitely some, something that has formed uh, how I think about DayZ and what it is as a game. Uh, just those experiences of, of revenge. And it comes back even further than that when I was playing other games uh, before I started working on Daisy, of just like this this immersion factor of anything that can happen, and and you just there is there is something emotional about just dying to somebody that you trusted, and um, I I stuck with it. That that's basically it. Yeah. That's what Daisy is all about. Like it's your stories, like those interactions. Never believe a stranger. <laughs> oh yeah, so I learned that the hard way. So, what's your favorite play style? Like, are you a PvP player or role play uh, player, survivor? Uh, well, I was like back in the day as as a gamer myself. I'm a I'm a mean maxer definitely. So I I try to find the best setup. So I'm definitely uh, usually my characters end up being like very military focused, uh, but sometimes I just go I go off way and I play a character that just dresses up in um, nurse clothes or, or just like I he 
try to help people. Uh, but in general, I'm a loner. Um, I usually stalk the woods, try to avoid civilization, and uh, try to watch people from afar. It sounds weird, but that's that's something that I do enjoy in Daisy. Okay, uh, I want I want to ask you about the persistent issue because we mm -hmm. had a problem before the release. How it looks right now? Oh sure. Um, as far as the issues that uh, you guys are experiencing right now with persistence. Um, uh, especially uh, the server owners and you guys building bases all over the official servers. Uh, we're going to be looking into it again next week. Uh, we found a couple issues. Hopefully, uh, we'll get them uh, patched uh, very soon. But in general, the persistent issue can manifest itself in, in many different ways. Uh, so I've seen some new reports. Uh, and there might have been some new bugs introduced with the 1.0 build, and we're going to be looking into those uh, very soon, basically as soon as uh, tomorrow. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And Peter, what uh, about your play style? I didn't ask you. Well, I'm really enjoying the survival aspect of Daisy, and uh, like getting like basic gear, get lost in the woods, uh, try to build some hideout, some base, and uh, just like going to towns for some more loot or hard to loot. Uh, even uh, when we get together with friends and, and colleagues, we are making like <laughs> quite uh, large groups and yes. our favorite uh, uh, hideout was like near uh, Stariar, mm -hmm. as it was pretty close to TC military base. So yeah, we were, uh, we went for the uh, raids there. We had a V3S, so yeah, well, great memories. And Peter usually ends up digging up some worms. <laughs> oh, yeah. So them. That was his favorite pastime. I remember that uh, very When fondly. you need to survive, like, <laughs> if you really need to do stuff. So. But that's the thing. I, I like the idea of, of uh, always having options, no matter if you're in civilization or out in the woods. Uh, just just have a selection of things that, that act as an emergent goal. So, okay, I'm in this situation. What are my options? And there are usually... Uh, always like more of them uh, for you to choose and um, that definitely defines your character. Definitely you still uh, in every situation you still can select from different outcomes from that so you can go further even if the situation seems to be lost there is still some way to solve it so mm -hmm. that's the thing. Have you ever skinned a human in the game? No, oh, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah we are a group of uh, cannibals so yeah. Oh, uh, then you have to. No, there is no other way. <laughs> have you lied in game to someone ever? <gasps> Don't trust when you have Peter. To. <laughs> <laughs> Don't trust Peter anymore. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do you have some ni nice uh, mm, story or memory from the development with um, with anyone from the team? I can't think of any single one from top of my head, uh, but I'll definitely come back with one. Um, it's just a collection of, it's been, because like when you, when you think about what we, uh, what we achieved over the years and having a, a game on one engine, having a game on a second engine afterwards, basically the game was made in, in two and a, um, two and a half, three years on the new engine. Our and server, sorry, our server crashed, so. Wasn't it restarted? Yeah. Oh, just, <coughs> just wait, uh, sorry, sorry, or oh, it was restarted. Oh, sorry, continue. <laughs> I <laughs> <laughs> See, that's the fun of development. I mean, that's uh. always how it, how it is. Um, doesn't, doesn't matter how ready you are, the things are going to break. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, what about you? Do you have some funny story? I know I heard from you. Lots of what? funny stories. <laughs> it's, it's definitely like there are options. Like there are some things we can probably say on stream, some <laughs> things that we can't. We need to be just like very careful in that regard. Um, <laughs> development is a dark place in in some uh, some ways. Uh, you have ups and downs. Uh, so it's uh, the the thing is like uh, it was so long and uh, we basically. Re remade and rework uh, nearly everything from scratch and sometimes even few times and it just like merged into just one huge blob of 
of things going on. So it's like uh, really hard to backtrack uh, to some of the stuff. But I definitely uh, never forget about the moment I joined the DAISY project. Uh, it was still uh, located in Nishek and there was just like eight or nine guys working on it. And I was introduced to the office and there was Dean sitting there with Matt and I was like, okay, that's really nice. Uh, Cause the office there and there was playing Skrillex on very high volume. <laughs> 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 I was okay, so this will be probably my uh, place to start work on. And I was kind of a bit player of uh, the easy mode. So I was like really, really uh, happy about being part of such development of such project as Daisy's. So, yeah, and I'm still here, so, and I'm really glad that we, like I said, we, we made it, we, we released the 1.0, uh, and we are looking forward to bring other features and content back in, so. So what do you remember from Daisy mod originally? Like, is there any story from, from there? Did you play with your friends, or how did you get into it? Well, it was like a uh, huge boom, like, oh, there's Daisy, Daisy mode, it's uh, like new cool kid on the block. So uh, I was checking it out and uh, it was like the like, very first moment I remember from Daisy mode, it was like I spawned on the, on the, on the shore and lost, I, I, I didn't know like where to go and then it was like the huge uh, big plane flying uh, about me and I was like, oh, Jesus, that's like awesome. Like I have nothing with me and I don't know where to go and there are guys like flying a plane. So <laughs> this game is crazy. So, and yeah, so there was like uh, uh, beats finding out like how it works, uh, what you can do. The possibilities were endless at the time. It, it, it uh, seems to be so fixing vehicles, fixing uh, heli. It was, it was amazing experience. Have you ever like learned to navigate in the game? Because one thing that, that I just remember from Daisy uh, is like the amount of times I got lost and died because I couldn't find my way out. Um, not even like after whatever 1,500 hours uh, that I might have now, I, I still do get lost sometimes. It's just like I'm somewhere, just like there, is, there are trees around me. I have no idea where I am. I'm just hoping that I don't die before I find some civilization. But mm. you can be sure you are still in Chernobyl, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, of course. Like that's, that's something I'm definitely uh, sure. Of. Like you can you can definitely learn how to navigate with the uh, with the sun or position or during nighttime with the stars. But the compass is really really helpful and and the map is is awesome if you have one. So that's one thing that really helped me, like having a compass in game. When I started actually using it and understanding. Uh, it definitely helped me understand how to basically navigate myself through the map and just like think in a different way. Uh, because as as you guys probably probably know, like Daisy is definitely different in this regard. Uh, it's it's a game that doesn't really help you that much. You need to learn everything yourself, um, and it's it's completely different experience from other things on the market right now. Okay, uh, the server, uh, the server, the event, uh, gonna start uh, in seven minutes, uh, so we have still time <laughs> to talk. I think here uh, is a time for a giveaway. Giveaway. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, uh, <coughs> are you ready, Matej? Are we ready for a giveaway? Yes. Okay, yes, so we are ready. We're going to do a giveaway of free T-shirts. Uh, Everything what you need to do is just uh, wait, yeah, uh, write Rex into s into the <laughs> chat, <laughs> and please don't tear up the shirt as soon as you <laughs> get it. <laughs> so and we going to like our bot going to uh, choose three people. Uh, oh okay, oh god, <laughs> it's too many Rex. <laughs> no Rex. Somebody's bleeding right now. Rex. So, yeah, you can still continue. So, what is the event about, buddy? Uh, it's about uh, uh, defend the object or the base. <laughs> <laughs> to watch me die. 
<laughs> so, so just try to explain what Peter is gonna go through because that's gonna well, be I, fun I, as well. I hope I wouldn't be the first one to die. On those <laughs> defenders, but but <laughs> P uh, Peter is uh, an attacker. We have 40 defenders and 10 attackers. And when any of uh, defender go, uh, will die, uh, the uh, uh, will join attackers. Yeah. Yes, it's like this. <laughs> the thing is, I can't see like my fellow attackers like anywhere. Are they? I saw <laughs> already <laughs> few. They are surviving out there in the wilderness. You are still in yeah. these areas. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm trying to get the higher ground. Just dig know? up some worms. <laughs> dig up some worms. You're gonna be fine. Like, yeah. don't worry. Okay, <coughs> Rex. Uh, Rex. Or still, we have. Ooh, too many Rex in chat. Okay. Uh, if uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. We can. I think we can stop it. Or. <laughs> okay. So are we gonna let's be choosing right now? Three. Yeah. Let's choose three people. Uh, and uh, we're gonna contact you. Uh, the winners and. Uh, so they should watch their messages on Twitch. Yes. 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 Watch. Uh, check the messages. But wait. So, who is the winner? Do we know? Uh, I don't know. Matej is gonna send me, I hope. You can answer some questions before we get the names. Okay. Uh, uh, like, we are reading everything you are uh, writing in the chat. Uh, uh, thank you for, for the support. <laughs> I love the miniskirts for attackers, like that's... <laughs> <laughs> uh, guys, I can't speak in game too, so... So, hello. So, <laughs> hi. <laughs> <laughs> hi. Uh, yeah, uh, so we are reading everything. Thank you for your feedback. Thank you for, for your support. Uh, and I have uh, I have a um, message here. Uh, how about uh, fractures and helicopters? So from uh, like you guys even pulled up um, like a community most wanted list uh, not that long ago, and those two things were definitely up there. Um, we're not surprised. I do believe that broken bones and and like creating splints, even like I think it was Reddit Rescue Force, if I remember correctly, yes. uh, just going around and and pulling out some miracles for players out there. So. Like these medical systems that we want to get in game uh, that are missing right now are definitely on uh, top priority list uh, for us as well. And same goes for helicopters. Um, I do believe that like a multi-session, like high-end gameplay that that brings something that our players that, that is rare because I think rarity uh, for Daisy uh, is very important. Same thing goes for weapons, vehicles. You wanna. You definitely want to show off in some way, like you achieved in game, especially because you can lose it at any point, at any moment. And uh, I can't wait for situations when people uh, steal each other's helicopters. That's going to be very fun. <laughs> <laughs> like you build something for 10 hours, and then somebody fucking steals it. Okay. Sorry for that <laughs> swear word. Yes, the awesome aspect of dating. Yeah. <laughs> when you get dating. Like, <laughs> I, I, I wasn't like, I I don't think I rage quitted DayZ um, at any point, but I definitely stirred up a lot of like angry emotions uh, when I got shot and I didn't know from where. When I lost something, when I dropped my weapon, uh, when somebody stole something, or somebody lied to me in game. That's just like awful. Yes, like I cried already <laughs> in <laughs> from the days because it's. It's really emotional, and when someone so how many stole times you cried for Daisy? I don't know, maybe three <laughs> times because I it was it was I don't know how much oh uh, fifty seven I think, mm -hmm. and someone stole my uh, M four, mm -hmm. and uh, it was really rare. <laughs> I was so angry, really. I was, was crying, and I hate you, I hate you, and. M <laughs> what, what, was, it, was it the fully equipped one? Yes, oh yes, my yes. God. And I think there was only only two or three on server. And it was like crazy. Oh yeah. So and we have the winners. Uh, the winner is Creep Seven, <laughs> Blessed Stew, and Thunderlang. Uh, uh, Mati uh, will uh, contact you through the Twitter messages. So. Check in, guys. guys. Twitch messages, I think. Yeah. Uh, wh uh, what I said? Twitter messages. Oh, sorry, Twitch messages. <laughs> I know you need to manage Twitter, so that's <laughs> yes, fine. Yes, I have <laughs> Twitter here. <laughs> so it's crazy. <coughs> okay. 
Okay, uh, so congratulations, and we are going to make uh, uh, another one, but later, uh, because uh, the, sir, uh, the, uh, the even the start uh, starting in one minute. Or you're sick, Peter. Oh yeah, because, because I was drinking from the. Now you can probably stream. kill all those guys just getting them sick. <laughs> like <laughs> s sneak up there, let them get sick. You're gonna be fine. Uh. It, it could, like that's that's one thing that that uh, like sicknesses in Daisy. I'm very glad that they those got in game, um, and are transferable. It's a, it's a crazy experience whenever you see somebody sneezing or coughing, um, and I like. Probably one of the most crazy experiences. Whenever I hear uh, like that laugh, whenever you eat human meat, that scares the shit out of me. Like <laughs> when I enter a city at night and there is somebody laughing in there, oh. Uh, we are definitely going to expand the uh, medical system and, and diseases, uh, their effects on uh, characters. Uh, so I think in it's the future, but sorry. Oh. Are we gonna start killing yes. people right now? You can kill. Every, not, not so it's on. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. hope my teammates there's have somebody, some. There's somebody. But it's <laughs> his teammate, I think. Doesn't matter. It's revenge don't time. Don't kill people with red armbands. <laughs> you don't yeah, see it from here. Two guys already, they don't have any, any, any armbands, but they were talking to me. But I doesn't have any uh, headphones, yeah, so I can't hear. It uh, was Minder and his against you. So ah, <laughs> okay. So you can kill him right now. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't guy. isn't he attacker as well? He's defender. But oh. they were doing yeah. outside oh the base. Like <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna be fine. Like miner is gonna join you. No. <laughs> oh okay. 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 So let's kill someone. Uh, this is a PVP event. Uh, we're gonna make some events in the future. Maybe no PVP. Maybe some racing. We will. Like see. a survival event. Like who can survive the longest? We're gonna limit the resources or whatever. Oh yeah. When you are talking about survivor, like uh, we well, we are preparing survival games, it's still in development, so you you can. There are definitely things to look forward to uh, mm -hmm. next year, and we'll be talking more about those uh, um, after the year starts. <laughs> so I have another question from sure. chat. Sure, go ahead. Why are bases so easy to break? Uh. <laughs> okay, there is still. I think Peter will answer <laughs> that one. <laughs> there is still uh, not all the items uh, we are planning for a base building, so that's just like very core uh, set for that feature. Uh, so definitely in the future there will be uh, like explosives, chainsaws, and, and stuff like that. Uh, people definitely should try to uh, defend their bases uh, with the traps. Like there's already a uh, bear trap and and uh, landmine. Uh, there will be like some craftable ones, like a tripwire, uh, which was already in the game but it didn't make it to 1.0. So all that stuff will be available uh, for defending a uh, base, and the breaking will breaking into the base will be much uh, uh, harder and uh, time-consuming or like very uh, risky, like like. Audible and, and all that stuff, mm, which can attract zombies if it's close to the to the town or village, and and things like that. So uh, definitely, uh, it's not supposed to be like that, like right right uh, in the in that moment. But it definitely needs to feel rewarding, and that's not something exactly. like that we achieved right now. And uh, we will look at the balancing of base building uh, definitely after we fix the resistance issue, because as far as priorities go. Um, Bases first need to work and be stable and persistent as so that the community uh, won't have any issues of about things disappearing. Once that's done, we're going to look at the balancing uh, and get that done for you guys. So don't worry about it. It's definitely on our radar. We know. Uh, we probably, <laughs> anytime we see an issue reported, a um, lot of the things are on our minds all the time. And I, I know even from myself, um, this job this this game has been big part of my life uh, for the past few years and uh, we don't want the experience to be like that like that's not what we want and we're gonna work on it that's that's the main thing okay definitely uh, any other questions uh, uh, I saw some uh, issues with infected right now mm -hmm. uh, can you 
tell us more about it, about the problem? Okay, so there are a couple things to explain there. The infected uh, are going to be more of a threat uh, down the road. Right now, there are two issues. One, uh, the server FPS, while it has been uh, good over the year, uh, we have definitely seen some decrease with the release of 1.0. We're going to track that down, um, and we have been profiling servers uh, on Friday. So Monday, we're going to do the analysis, look at what's happening, why it's happening, and push a fix out. So that's definitely affecting the uh, infected performance, because when you see them jumping around or delays, uh, um, teleporting, things like that, it's mostly server performance. And there is one more thing. Uh, zombies get stuck uh, often, uh, and it's one of the very like developer uh, kind of things. When you have a l as large of a map as Daisy is, and you have humanoid AI on the map, they can't have collisions because <laughs> that just wouldn't be <coughs> calculable on the server. So they basically travel through the environment based on navigation mesh, which is like a geometry in game that they use to uh, navigate through. And uh, there are some situations when they get stuck, and we actually started working on unstuck mechanism, but should make sure that, that these things uh, continue through without any issues. Um, but it was kind of broken, uh, so we had to roll back before the release so things don't get even worse. Um, so there are tons of priorities that we need to look into, uh, and we just need to uh, basically go through them one at a time. And uh, this is on our radar. So one thing, server performance definitely affecting infected. And the second thing, um, uh, issues with the infected themselves that we're going to be looking into uh, very soon. There is more variation to be there, so uh, they, I definitely, I, I know Peter as well want zombies to feel uh, more of a threat, and you should be afraid of them, which I don't believe is the case right now. At, at least, like once you get to learn the game and you know what to expect, like the first encounter is maybe scary. But then, once you know how to avoid them, it gets less and less difficult. Uh. I think I'm going to you. I need to just do uh, ah, something okay. here. Ah, yeah. good. Sorry, technical dif difficulties. Technical <laughs> difficulties. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so, yeah, even when we're talking about the plans for next year uh, and what we want to deliver, um, for me personally, zombies are very high on my priority list of things that I want to get right. Um, and while there's tons of other things, uh, that that threat and and scare that you should get when you meet a zombie, uh, the stealth in game uh, to be more of a factor. Um, yeah, that's what we want, and we're gonna get there. Uh, well, uh, like people are talking about the road roadmap of mm -hmm. 2019. I just want to tell we don't have any public uh, roadmap right now, but. We will let you know. I, I'll, I'm going to just say one more thing to that. Because mm -hmm. I know uh, because of the trouble development of Daisy in the past few years, especially because of the change of the engine, uh, we are under uh, lots of pressure to, to remake the game in the new engine. And it's not a pressure from outside or corporate world or whatever. Like It's still privately owned company, Bohemia. It's something that we wanted to make right. And... Uh, so the plan for next year needs to be something that we ha have to deliver on point. And we're going to put as much time as needed to make sure that plan uh, is, is doable and right for us. And once we have that, we're going to share it. Uh, Peter, why we don't have any auto-run button? <laughs> <laughs> because uh, <laughs> we have a stamina now. and. It lasts just like 20, 25 seconds uh, at most without uh, nearly any gear. So I think it's uh, uh, kind of... Oh, yeah, okay. So you are you're meaning auto run, not uh, run, the yeah. double tap for sprint. I think it, it's kind of it's kind of immersion breaking when you uh, when you set the auto run uh, to on, then you walk away from the from the keyboard from the game and uh, you found people uh, stuck in the stuck in the trees uh, in the in the fences it's it's uh, walking towards them it's really really weird and and as I said like for me it's a, it's a immersion breaking but it's uh, not uh, not hard to do that so uh, with the modding available people can 
feel free to add some auto run. And the same thing basically goes for uh, toggle of the race weapon. Exactly. One of the things that Peter talks about a lot, even in the office, is basically we don't want you to be in situations in game that they just like break the immersion. So if you would see like five players talking to each other with raised weapons all the time, it would feel weird. And uh, it's important for us that the game simulates the real world as much as, as possible. And it's uh, it's something that, that we definitely want to achieve. So, yeah. And again, like it's easily easily modelable. If somebody wants to change a game and want to see those mods coming in, like if if there are players that want that out there, it definitely makes sense. We we really want it. Uh, we really want to uh, have a game to feel like lifelike. So that there's the stuff like when you want to do something, uh, you need to put some effort into it. Not just like press some auto run and and go away from the from the game. You should be uh, aware most of the time what you are doing, what you are want to achieve in the game. Okay, uh, I have another question. This is an easy one. Okay. <laughs> 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 it's going to be the probably the hardest one. I always see that. What's your plan for the last weekend before Christmas? Oh. Week, <laughs> sorry, week <laughs> and weekend. Uh, yeah. Maybe grab some Christmas gifts. <laughs> 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 As there was on the time, at least for me. Yeah. So and I think here. all of us are in the same same uh, same situation. We've been working, and we're going to be working at least for another week um, before we get to any sort of holiday. Um, and uh, I think all of us are going to do the same thing: spend it with our families. Like that's that's something that we neglected in the past uh, few months. At least I definitely did. Uh, and I know Peter spent a lot of time in the office as well. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to be with my mom, with my brother, and spend the time uh, with them as much as I can. Okay, uh, I have too many messages uh, about Namask. Uh, <laughs> 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 like, uh, we, uh, it's not uh, our, uh, it's, a, it's a map. Uh, not um, made by Bohemia. Yeah. And that's the most that's important thing. Yeah, so we cannot answer <coughs> this. Uh, it's up to Sumrak when he yeah. going to release it. We Ri don't write know. Write to Adam directly. <laughs> he, he, yes. would, he would love that. He is Sumrak like, on, on I know Twitter. you guys are asking him the same things we are asking him in the <laughs> office. <laughs> and I remember just like on Friday, I think it was on Friday, when I asked him, I'm like, so Mamels, when is it coming? And uh, <laughs> it's definitely going to get there at some point, but Adam def wants it to be to be perfect. So he has been perfectionist for most of our development. Uh, he has done the same things for Generous. He wants things to be right. So he's he still has some development to do. And uh, he's definitely going to talk about it later down the road. Okay, Eugene. When uh, are you going to deliver the joke rap video about your <laughs> weeks, not months? Eh? <laughs> Did they say that? Like publicly, I'm not. <laughs> 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 okay, guys. So I'm gonna explain why why that is a thing, and whoever asked that is very very perceptive. Um, I'm a big fan of Hearthstone. Uh, it's something that I uh, play um, in off time. And Ben Broad, who's the who was specifically uh, the lead on that project, did the rap video for one of the expansion <laughs> releases, and I was I was so. I found I found it so funny, so so I joked about it in the office, and I think I'll have to stuck with it. Um, yeah, I'll I'll do it. Somebody has to write the lyrics though. So if somebody out there has some really good lyrics for a rap Daisy video, just send it over, and I'm gonna do it. Just I'm ready. Please send something. MC Eugene is ready. So. <laughs> okay. Um, another question. Uh, are we bringing weapons back in one update or gradually, 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 sorry. Uh, so right now, um, even with the uh, basic plan we have for next year, it's definitely going to be gradual. It's not going to be one big package. Um, there are only mods out there adding those weapons that we have created over the years. Um, if we are going to deliver something, it needs to be high quality. So we're going to focus on that and it's going to be gradual over the year. And uh, can you give us a hint uh, of uh, what is the next prepared gun? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> as, as I said, guys, before, um, we definitely want to under-promise and over-deliver. It's one of the things that is very important for next year. Okay. And guys, did you see some modes uh, already 
Mm -hmm. What do you think about? So one yeah. of the things that I was most excited about was the some of the guys from the community already are talking to me on Discord, uh, s showing me their work and such. Ha ha ha! Peter's dead. <laughs> was that the first one? <laughs> Respawn. Let's get it. Uh, but yeah, one of the one of the ones that I was uh, excited about the guys that are working on the uh, on the Stalker world. Uh, I loved Stalker as a game. It's it's one of my very fond memories, and the idea of multiplayer Stalker game in the world that's very similar to DayZ uh, with radiation, mutants even, uh, that excites me. So I'm, I'm looking forward to full conversions that, that people come up with. I think the tools, while in the early stage, are really, really powerful. Um, and once things like Community Hive come out, uh, there are so many options. You could probably do an MMO of yourself uh, on, uh, on our engine. So looking forward to that one. Okay, uh, I have uh, I have a message. Uh, Eric, did he kill you? Oh, okay. <laughs> was that the first one who was killed? I don't know. I, I don't have a okay. I one. hope not. <laughs> it's also one of the things that we joke about a lot in the office, like uh, who's going to do what mod uh, and how it will look like. Uh, so it's, uh, it's something that we might even do ourselves uh, in our free time if we get the chance. <coughs> what about you, Peter? What's the what's the mod that you're going to be looking forward to? Well, I was really surprised uh, with Arkansas uh, trains. It oh yeah, like yeah, that uh, is a good one. Amazing, uh, like really cool new mod is uh, the Trader mod, uh, which was just released on the on the Steam uh, workshop recently. It's oh yeah, very yeah. cool. So yeah. hopefully all those uh, uh, mods based on that uh, will will came uh, along nicely. So it's yeah. like your favorite map from Daisy Mod originally. Did you have a favorite one? Chernavis. Chernavis? Is it still Chernavis? It is. Nice. It is. I'm not sure if Alan will be happy to hear that, but. That <laughs> 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 is Chernavis. Okay, uh, so another question. Uh, what happened to the uh, container system uh, in houses, like refrigerator, refrigerators, cabinets, fireplaces? Well, that's uh, that was prototyped. Uh, it worked. It was uh, in game for some time, uh, but it wasn't such crucial thing to focus on uh, with the 1.0 release. So that's why we like uh, uh, pushed it a bit. So it's definitely not uh, cut off or, or dead. Uh, we still plan somehow tackle it uh, in the future if there is a time, but. Uh, as we are still missing like uh, more important features, like we already talked about, yeah. like uh, helicopters or or make zombies better and uh, stuff like that. It's uh, still lower on the priority exactly. list. And there are some performance concerns with how world containers are going to be handled. So we're going to play it safe uh, because it. Anytime we add a feature in game, we basically barter it for performance. So it's a balancing act um, that we need to make sure uh, is right. That's it. Uh, kill someone, Peter. <laughs> 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 I tried, but they killed me. Uh, uh, well, let's let's try this time. I, uh, What's the score, by the way? I, I'm I'm really completely off the game because I, I doesn't have a headset. I can't hear anything. If there is some shooting, I, <laughs> it's I don't know. like it's very hard to play that uh, that way. So play it safe, man. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, here is a question. Why is Daisy so easy right now? It's a funny because a uh, lot of people are wrote me many messages about how Daisy is hard for them. So, like, for even when you look at the uh, current reviews on Steam, it's definitely like there's a. So, Daisy should should be a hard game, but there needs to be a balance somewhere because. We need to choose. We need to choose like um, something that feels right for the game. And if anybody needs it harder oh, than that, I hit him. <laughs> he can probably mod it. And we're hoping that we're gonna like Vanilla Day Z should be a hard game. It's a hardcore game first and foremost, but it it should be an entry point to Day Z, and then it can probably um, basically get you to like more specific hardcore mods that we're looking forward to the future. So 
well, if, the, if this is the first thing that you encounter, it should be somewhere in the middle, uh, but it's still <laughs> more hardcore than anything on the market. So it's a it's a very hard thing to decide on. Like where where is the uh, where is the right point? But I think Peter can touch on that a bit more on the balance. We, we really need to find the proper balance uh, so the game caters uh, mm, to all the PVPers and and PVE uh, style players and. Like when there is uh, still some uh, issues uh, with uh, infected and uh, and stuff like that, it's 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 still really hard to uh, to find the proper way uh, how to do it. Uh, we really really we really tried to uh, put it a little bit more hardcore hardcore with the all those like faster metabolism to get prepared for your uh, for your journey towards. Uh, uh, towards the center of the map or to the north, the inland, but it seems like uh, was it was kind of hard for even even for uh, like long time players because uh, they are so used to just run inland without any any uh, without mm, putting any time and and nearly effort uh, for some preparation. So we will be reiterating uh, that. And uh, we, we will see. Like uh, that free weekend will be really great for us to gather all that uh, statistics, that that analy analytics, and 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 find what's what's how, how it played for people, and we will try to find out like who will be the best. Oh, this is this is fucking scary. <laughs> I will be shot again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, that's, that's that's your guy. That's my guy. We join him, and we can get. Forward. Oh, there's that part. Does he oh. kill him? Oh no 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 no! <laughs> it's ah, oh, it doesn't have any Megan gun. Jesus. I was okay. kind of unprepared for the situation. <laughs> to be honest. Uh, I think uh, it's time for the second giveaway. Ooh. We have five hoodies for you uh, with Daisy logo. I don't have here any to show you, but they are awesome. <laughs> so all you need to do is write in the chat anniversary. This is the word, this is the keyword, anniversary. Do it. <laughs> if you want to. <laughs> what? I, I just remembered like, um, we're talking with the guys uh, about one of the reviews that popped up on Steam, uh, where the guy said like he graduated twice over the course of development, <laughs> oh yeah. and it got to the top of Reddit, um, and it just reminds me of all the things that have happened in the last five years, uh, and how many things can can change in, in such a long time. It's a uh, it's a big anniversary for us, and I think the game can uh, can grow from here. It's a uh, it's just interesting to see uh, how things change over over years. They are cle clever. Nice. <laughs> is there like most of them? Oh, oh probably. Nice, nice. Everyone is probably inside right now. <laughs> we need to get those grenades like very quickly in the game. <laughs> <laughs> just like throw a grenade <laughs> there. All of them dead. It's it's one of the things I think Minder posted it, the one with the landmine and cannibals that video. I I really love that one. That was a uh, that was so cool. Uh, so still anniversary in chat. Hmm. Those hoodies have been very popular at Gamescom. Yeah. Very popular. I'm um, sorry, we are restarting the server right now uh, because of uh, some issues, probably. So I have another uh, question for you, uh, Eugene. What about uh, uh, ser uh, lin Linux servers? Uh, yeah, that's a like very often asked question. Right now, we have a Linux server internally that, but because of the focus on 1.0 and making sure that things uh, get the best they can be, um, we neglected the testing of Linux server and we don't want to release something that's as broken as Linux server is right now. Um, 
<coughs> but even for us, it's uh, very important to get uh, the server uh, to a Linux platform. Um, it's uh, in terms of performance, all kinds of things, uh, operation cost and such. It's uh, it's very important that that happens. So again, it's it's very high on priority list. This thing specifically. Um, Will there be any Linux client? <laughs> no, <laughs> definitely not next year, and I don't see like with the amount of things that we want to do, that's not high on priority list. That's mm -hmm. definitely not high on there. Because when you look at development in general, one of the things that you have to think about, like there is always limited time, and it's all about priorities. And one thing that I always say, and, and people uh, just seem to forget about it, is number one priority doesn't mean it's number one deliverable. So that's something, it's the most important thing right now. Doesn't mean it's going to be the first thing that you're going to see in game. Um, but that means most work, uh, the work on that number one priority starts uh, as soon as possible. And uh, Linux servers in those priorities. Yes. Uh, okay, we're going to stop uh, the giveaway. <laughs> okay, uh, winners are Pure Mojito, Jess Wood, <laughs> <laughs> Drink, sorry, <laughs> I'm really bad at names, uh, S. Dandy, Joe Man, and Marty Boy. Marty Boy. Marty like Boy. Uh, <coughs> Mate, uh, well congrats, guys. Yeah, congratulations. Uh, Martin is going to send you a message on uh, Twitch. The dude is really nice and soft. Mm -hmm. I, I wear it quite often, actually. Okay. So, uh, yeah, we are connecting back to server. Yeah, we are in queue. In queue. Okay. The question is, are those defenders all in that one I don't know. structure? As in anything in Daisy, hey, it's chat. pure chaos. Tell me. <laughs> there's probably somebody lying there about being defender, you know? Like, there's, there's that guy who shoots the, uh, his friends. Like, there's definitely that one guy. Can be, can be, yeah. <coughs> okay. So, Peter. Maybe, so to maybe kill some someone. defender uh, just wear that. Armband of attackers and killing us. I don't know, like inside jokes. Okay. Now I have my assault rifle ready. Hello. <laughs> okay. Um. So yeah, what about private service on Xbox? Um, Do you want to talk about it or is plans? Um, right now, we only talked about it. There is nothing set in stone. Um, because if if it was only about us, uh, we uh, it might have been easier. But there are rules to follow when it comes to Xbox specifically. Um, and Microsoft has been very nice to us so far. So we maybe get there at some point, but not Did right I now at least. Mm. What about uh, PlayStation 4? The PlayStation 4 version is in production right now, and once we have more information to share, we definitely will. It's we def like one of the things, like the idea of DayZ uh, and all those players. Uh, we want to get DayZ on as many platforms as we can. Um, it's uh, I think it's important for the game, it's important uh, uh, for the brand itself, um, and I think the game can be enjoyed on, on any platform. It's, uh, it's I don't think there, there are games as Daisy uh, on, on PlayStation or, or Xbox, and, uh, and there is definitely an audience uh, for them, uh, so it's, it's important for us. Cool. <laughs> Uh, Peter, what's your favorite weapon in Daisy? SKS. Kill him. You can do it. Yes. Nice. Wow. <laughs> First kill he for Peter. Yeah. He wasn't able to defend himself. So, but. Hmm. <laughs> and uh, what about you, Eugene? Your favorite weapon? Pink Derringer. <laughs> 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 no, no, that was a joke. 
Guys, so as far as my favorite weapon, I I like as like being a loner. I like sniper rifles. I'm I'm that kind of guy. Uh, so right now it's SVD <laughs> for sure. Come on, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> See that that's the that's the guy. That's the guy who should. Oh. His friends. Okay. So. Are they? So SVD with the new night vision scope, like that's. <laughs> that's, it. Like yeah. that's my weapon of choice. The new night vision scope looks amazing. Yeah. Really. Uh, so is it uh, the end of the event? Is everyone dead? Tim? It seems to be a lot of people alive, but all of them have red armaments already. There's one guy. Oh, he has a red armament. Interesting. Okay, it seems like. GG, well played. Now we can probably jump down there. <laughs> Let's see what happens. <laughs> I think this is end of the event. Are you sure? I don't know. Maybe someone is hiding somewhere. Is it end? Yeah, the so event is done? Cool. Search the perimeter. Okay, <laughs> can we get a photo in? Like for all those guys? Yeah. Team, can we get a photo? Well, I think he cannot hear me. If you jump down there, you probably die. I'm not going to try this. <laughs> no. <laughs> so it's really nice and daisy when you can see like a lot of people at one place. And it's, it's really amazing, especially with the new animations, new character control, like those turns and, and stuff like that. It really, really feels uh, lifelike. I really enjoy that. Like, that's amazing. Oh, <laughs> ah, he died. <laughs> <laughs> that's nice one. It looked a bit like a ragdoll, right? <laughs> almost, almost. Yeah, so what about ragdoll? <laughs> well, you just saw one. <laughs> As we were talking about, ragdoll is important not only like for vehicle impacts, but for explosive as well. So again, very high on priority. List. Can we get a fight uh, club kind of <laughs> moment? Uh, He's already quartering him. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm wondering how soon this thing turns into a massacre. Like, <laughs> it's gonna happen. <laughs> okay, that that had to be that one guy. It had to be like that. Mm. But this is it, like meeting place. It in seems, DC. yeah. Like it was it. faster than we thought. Or they are really good players, you know. Well, I was really good at the you know. <laughs> <laughs> How many people? Did I kill at least that yeah. guy on the ladder? <laughs> yeah, I think you did. I think you did. Like, let's give you that one. Well, was it the last one? Oh wow! Someone's killing you. Killing uh, you. It, it turned into really easy that match already. Uh, okay. Uh, just for information, uh, we're gonna uh, join some streams next week, uh, like developers, so you can see us on Minder stream, Running Menzi stream and toe break stream next week so you can ask questions there too yeah we're gonna be interested. just like uh playing with those guys uh answering both their questions and the communities um there is space for interaction now uh and we want to get the information out there so yeah it's it's uh it's gonna happen during the week i think are the times and dates already on point or yes yes okay. uh, i think with minder and uh, Eugene, it's uh, uh, 1 p.m. Central European time with Sumrak and uh, Running Menzi. It's 1 p.m. on the Monday. Oh, yeah, I didn't say I with you. It's on Tuesday. Tuesday, Sorry. cool. Uh, I hope Paul will ask about Namalsk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please, please ask, ask about Namalsk whenever Adam comes on stream. Like, he's going to love that. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, gonna be the most favorite question. And the last stream is on Wednesday at uh, 5 p.m. Uh, Central European time. It's with Tobrek and Peter. So it will be, I think, funny. Uh, 
Yeah, it'll be funny one, definitely. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I already see like uh, the situation. L- lead producer gets lost <laughs> in, in Daisy. Like, <laughs> I already see that happening. Like, I, it's just like I'm gonna spawn, and it's gonna be one of those spawns that I don't get, and it's it's gonna be awful. Uh, it's not fair because yeah, I yeah. had more than two thousand and five hundred hours on Daisy, and I can get lost too. I, I know that's <laughs> the thing, but people just expect us to be perfect at the game. Yes, yes. <laughs> and the game true. is really hard, guys. Like <laughs> really hard. <laughs> and it's for some of you are easy, of course. But um, it's uh, but it's gonna be so much fun. <laughs> uh, people are asking about uh, uh, first person servers on Xbox. Yeah, uh, we gonna add it in the future. I already talked about it with our uh, uh, with our master of servers. <laughs> A hero of the development. Yes. <laughs> there are lots of guys in the team that don't get mentioned often, mm-hmm. uh, and <laughs> all of them do s- an amazing job. And it's it's sad they they can't be here with us right now uh, because they are definitely responsible for a lot of the good things in the game. Okay, um, another question. I think I just found out that I can't be a streamer. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't really focus on playing the game and, 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 talking. and talk. Yeah, yeah. That's like, <laughs> kudos to you guys. <laughs> like, I it's a different experience. It is, sure. it's like very, very, like trying to get uh, focused on and then, oh. <laughs> uh, what about uh, both in the game? Um, so the way I look at the bows, like, Ability to create a ranged weapon out of civilization, that in terms of like design or or just like how you approach that, it the cost to create bow is quite high in terms of development. Uh, so it's something we need to consider at the start of the year to see how possible it is uh, and how soon it can happen. But right now, there is nothing set in stone in, in terms of when the bow is going to arrive in game. Okay. Um. I think it's time for uh, the last uh, giveaway. Are Ooh. you ready, Matej? So what's g- going to be the last one? <laughs> uh, free codes. Free codes of the game. Easy. Yeah. So. You won't need to spend money after the free weekend. That's a good one. Yeah, we still <laughs> have a free weekend. I forgot to uh, tell. Uh, it's still Mondays, uh, 7 p.m. Uh, Central European time. So you can try Daisy for free. And uh, the price is lower right now, so now you have a scope. <laughs> <laughs> now <laughs> I have a scope. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's <laughs> random, I think. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, possibly. Okay, so yeah, uh, the keyword for uh, the giveaway are beans. <laughs> beans. Beans. I, like that. I want De- some beans. These beans. I'm, I'm getting hungry just thinking about <laughs> it. beans and rice. Yeah. My poison of choice. So uh, if you want to, uh, if you want to win a Daisy key, just write beans into the chat, please. Does it turn it? What? Does it turn to the free for all that y- much? Yeah, that's already? basically it right now. <laughs> okay. It's ah. just the PVP, I think. Like was it? Was it an exchange? Yes, Did yes, it die as well? Exchange, nice, yeah. nice. nice. At least something, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> just <laughs> <laughs> even this dumb. <laughs> like I'm not gonna k- kill people. Like that's that's where I'm gonna yeah. get better at it. I w- we are not PVP players, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, I'm just hiding in Star Yar, <laughs> gathering all the loot. <laughs> I'm 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 a ho- like one of the best hoarders in the office in terms of loot is definitely Adam. Yeah. Sumrak. Oh yeah. He he just like. The ability to hoard items in game for him is just insane. Like anytime we come to an office, he's just basically giving out weapons. <laughs> like that's, I just always find it quite funny. Like I got three SVDs in my cache. Like what, what just happened? He's really good at it. Okay, let's stop uh, the giveaway. Uh, can you give me three names, please? Okay. Uh, the first one is 
O S Hines. I don't know if I read it correctly. <laughs> I don't know, just like if if it's a curse word, we <laughs> I'm just gonna beep it out, man. The Bruhnister. Okay. The Bruhnister and TS76. So congratulations, guys. Congratulations. Congrats. Uh, we are going to contact you into uh, the through the uh, Twitch messages. Okay, so uh, do we have some questions here? Was the bridge? Oh, okay. It's really nice construction here inside. I'm yeah, going to like check it out. Yeah. It's really, really cool. You know what they say, right? They talk about the size <laughs> of the ship, it's about the motion of the Yeah, this, that's oh, awesome. What? This is really cool. That's really awesome. Wow. Cool. <laughs> I really good. like to see base building elements used in, in such a way. That's, that's amazing. Like, they blend well with the already uh, made static objects in map. So, yeah, so I'm really happy to see them, like, not uh, only in the wild, but also, like, used as yeah, a kind of barricading. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's really, really cool. It's really, mm -hmm. really nice. So, I think this is... I'm very proud of Defenders. <laughs> 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 Uh, I think this is enough from us. Do you want to say something to the community, guys? Um, stay true. <laughs> yeah. Um, guys, if you like the Z, uh, uh, definitely play it over the weekend. Uh, if, if you haven't played it, again, it's free, it's easy to get in. Uh, try it out and give us feedback. Um, the only way the game is going to get better is uh, is through feedback, and that's the most important thing. So, just talk about it, think about what is possible in Daisy. Uh, if you're a modder out there and thinking about modding Daisy, just get into it. The tools are amazing, so um, the possibilities are endless. I already said it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's focusing on the game. Yeah, I'm like admiring <laughs> this. <laughs> Oh, I definitely uh, go ahead and, and try Daisy. Like uh, Eugene said, it's it's free this weekend, and uh, we will be glad if you if you enjoy the game and and find out all those like unique experiences and unique stories. That's what Daisy is about. Uh, it's it's interaction. It's 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 that experiences. Basically, this is your story. And if you if you never played Daisy before, you definitely should try it. It's now I remember one thing. Do you remember when we went to a wedding? Oh, in the Seattle. Yes. Yes. What? So, guys, like it's, it's something that we haven't talked about, uh, but like Daisy and people actually finding new friends and even partners in that game has been just like mind-boggling for me. And me and Peter, we actually went to a wedding of of a girl and a guy that met in Daisy, and that's how they got. To each know each other, and I've seen that on Twitter. I think and there I was one I more, <laughs> and I think uh, we were actually their wedding gift. <laughs> was it like that? I can't remember that. <laughs> it was. That was a. Uh, it was just. It was, like, it was just a coincidence. We were there, but it was like amazing. But the, again, like that's that's one thing that uh, that Daisy has like been very special about. Like you meet people and you talk to them, and you actually can make new friends in this game. And uh, I don't think that's the case uh, for all the games. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you end the stream, yeah. <laughs> so okay. we have 20 hours left uh, to the end of the free weekend. So try it, and I want <coughs> to thank you. You uh, you are here uh, for all your su support you uh, are giving us because it's nice to see the support from you. Really, we really appreciate. We really appreciate it. <laughs> And I think that's all. And thank you for coming here and playing with us. Stay positive. Yeah. Thank you, guys, and see you in Chernarus, folks. Bye-bye. <laughs>